Hey guys, what's up? Hotak here. Alright, so the Double XP weekend has just begun. It's still a little bit of time before I go to work, so I'm going to do a little, start the smithing off. And like I said, I'll show you me doing it for a tiny bit. Alright, let's go. So yeah, like I said, oopsie, let me turn on the music. I, 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 I like the self-city music. It's pretty cool, I think. Anyway, let's turn it on. Um... Yeah, why don't we click on one of these elf ones, make it interesting, huh? Let's see. Sure, we'll do this. There we go. All right, double XP on the way. So like I said, smithing, corrupted ore. Let's roll. Woo! Sweet. So yeah, the corrupted ore, if you don't know, if you can see way over here, you get it from the sarin stones by mining them. The corruption is the black stuff that is on the sarin stone, which is the blue. And when you mine it away, you don't always get corrupted ore every time. But when you do get corrupted ore, you get more mining XP. And then, obviously, it gets added to your inventory, which is stackable. And then you can smith it over here in stacks of 60 at a time. And you're just burning it away. It's free smithing XP, like I said. Here, I'll even zoom in a little bit. So yeah, people are going crazy over here. Crafting. Using the portable forges. Um, all that great stuff. So yeah, people go crazy for double XP. Later on today, they're going to also have their... RuneScape live stream, so... I don't know if they're doing a 24 hour one again, to be honest. I wasn't paying that much attention to what they're blobbing about for the live stream. They are having it, and I'm home by like, eh, like 3, 3.30 today. I'll check it out. I'll watch a little bit. Keep me interested. Um, if not, I might be watching some like Naruto. Um, in the original Japanese with subtitles. They have it on this website actually called uh, Crunchy Roll. I know it kind of sounds <laughs> funny, especially if it sends a website with a bunch of anime. But they have like a ridiculous amount of anime stuff, like episodes from like every season of like whatever you could want. Um, so I've always been watch interested in watching Naruto um, when I was younger. Not that long ago, also. But just wouldn't miss it. But in Japanese, you get like, you know, the original voices of the characters in Japan with cool subtitles. And for me, subtitles work perfectly fine. I'm just able to watch it and like it makes it, makes it nice. See, so yeah, if you want, check it out. It does cost money, but you can get it for free trial. Um, I think normally it's 14 or 15 days, but. If you've ever checked out this one dude called uh, Game Theories or Game Theorist, whatever you want to call him, if you type in the word like theorist, I think something like that, it'll make it out to like 30 days, so a month for free. So you can check it out. If you actually want to pay the money, go ahead. I wouldn't. I think it's only like six bucks a month, which is not bad, but um, I still wouldn't do it. But, um, yeah. So, anyway, getting some great XP. Look, one inventory, we got, what was it, like 25k? You know, I could calculate this, but I won't be surprised. I remember when I did batches of like, uh, eh, could have been like 10k or maybe 7 or 8. I don't remember exactly, but it wasn't. I was a little disappointed. It was fast, great XP, yeah, but. It only got me up to like, like a mil and a half, maybe two. I don't remember because I, I I've, I've done multiple batches of like ten thousand or whatever it was, seven or eight, something like that. So I don't really remember, <laughs> and I'm not gonna go into the trouble to find that out. So yeah, we'll see how much like twenty one k gets us about. Already it's looking sweet. For smithing total XP, I'm at uh. 
21 mil 64k that's awesome I doubt it but if we could get up to 25 mil that would be amazing really don't think we will but if we do terrific I'll be pleasantly surprised which I like being surprised and makes it more enjoyable for me um, either way um, and yeah people in the clan chat if you can see over here are going nuts and like uh, if you can see me let me see yeah do you see over here where my mouse is <laughs> please crash and make all these guys rage like they're they get so I just I just laugh they get so like worked up into like the exact start time at the exact second the one dude is gonna count down the second so let me see if I can find that uh, six minutes if you see iron fist here you know whatever I'm just laughing like it, it doesn't matter who cares <laughs> like timers for a whole bunch of things I just laugh at like it, it, it doesn't matter if you're that obsessed and the, 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 those many issues that you're counting down the seconds then whatever and I bet some people are probably getting mad at oh it's, it's you know turning it off you know wah 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 whatever it doesn't matter man it starts when it starts you're getting double experience to begin with so any time double XP you, you should be happy with you know, don't complain. Just be quiet. Some other people in the clan were a couple guys. They were going like, "Oh, I'm uh, I'm not really into it. You know, I'm feeling kind of sad. I have work tomorrow. Do your job. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shut up. Play what you have today, because apparently those guys aren't working today. So they fought, like all day today for double experience. Don't sweat it." I have nothing really planned other than church on Sunday, but like, don't get worked up. Play risky for fun. Enjoy the time that you have. Even if it's only a little bit, it's still double. So if you think about it, all it really is, yes, it saves you money and all that, so you can count the money factor, which is sweet. But, alright, if, if, if you get, um, let's let's say you only play 12 hours this weekend most likely everyone in the clan will be playing more than that because it's like three days but anyway and these guys play too much as it is compared to me it's it's insane um but any anyway anyway if you play 12 hours double that that you're basically playing for 24 straight hours and if you do that that's that's perfect don't worry about it <laughs> don't have a fit take what you get and be happy but anyway, since I'm maxed, I'm a little bit more relaxed. Even when it was going, I wasn't freaking out on the seconds that it would start. But I'll probably just do this inventory and then stop this little intro to smithing. And I don't know why. The first, if you see the little counter at the very top here, which says bonus XP is active. Like, um... I know for the first one, maybe the second, maybe they did it because it was different. They've changed it over time for you guys who haven't been to all of them. The first one, they said bonus XP. And people were all jumping on, screaming double, double. It wasn't. No. People were freaking out because apparently reading in RuneScape is a really big problem. People skip through reading things. They don't read the main page, which now with that update, before you log in, the news is around the right hand side. Now people have no excuse, but people still are acting surprised in the updates. But anyway, um, yeah, so the beginning, it was basically more like 18 hours till it was zero. So it would go down every couple hours. People were like freaking out because they canceled work for the whole weekend. They're losing all this money. And they were willing to do that for whatever reason because they're going to be getting double XP. You know, calling out early, coming home early which is what I plan ahead for stuff. You still have your work day, and then I don't work on weekends anyway because I work Monday through Friday, and you get your stuff. And what I did like about that, though, is that it would track normal XP gained, and then how much double you've gotten. So, for example, if you've been training, you get, like, 5 mil, 
In reality, 2.5 mil is bonus. And I kind of liked that. I mean, I track stuff on the side here, like smithing right now and that. But that was just nice for the entire weekend. Everything was there. I don't know. And the normal XP would have been. I, I, I just like looking at little things like that. So that I did like. Then they changed it to like... Oh, this will apply because I think at first summoning wasn't quite 100%. Now it is. Prayer is pretty much the only thing people complain about. But if you remember, unless if you're not doing Gilded Altars, you're basically wasting money. And that doesn't make sense. So that's already triple. So people are really confused why it's not double. It's because you're already getting, getting triple. If you want <laughs> double of the triple, that's ridiculous. That's six times what it should be. <laughs> so don't complain. It would be nice though. And basically, that's the standard now. People think that the Gilded Altars are just a normal XP. It's not. It's more... Don't get all freaked out. Anyway, summoning is nuts XP as it is. And it's a normal skill to 99. It's not like Dungeoneering, which is even crazier. But summoning is even faster XP gains because you can keep on running back to the guy. Um... Who's the place? It's near that hunting area. And you use the spirit pouch of the... Is the... La Rupia or the Grack? I think it's the La Rupia, which is that... To me, it looks like, like a tiger or a leopard. I think more of a leopard because it has little spots, I think. But anyway, um, those things teleport you basically right to that summoning spot, which is the go-to spot, since it teleports you like right there. And then you just either use um, a home teleport back, if you're not like an addict, or even the ring of uh, dueling, or dungeoneering, whatever you want to call it. Don't spend money. Like... It just amazes me how impatient people are. The way me, if you know me by now, I've got all my 99s doing it, what I like to call it the real way it was meant to be. Yes, I do buy some things, but I still get the other supplies. Like, you know, mining, mined it all myself. Obviously, you have to do that anyway. And then for smithing, I used what I mined for 99. Didn't pay a single penny. That's how it's supposed to be. Buying all your stuff. Uh, if you have the cash, if you want to waste your money, do that, and you're not patient enough, you know, and then I used my stuff that I mined for, um, 99 crafting. Didn't pay a cent for that. I did buy rubies eventually, but guess what? The thing sold for more than what I paid for the rubies, so I didn't lose any money. That's how the skill should be. But... If you have the money for it, you know, people say, why not? Yeah, go ahead, whatever. I'm not going to do that. Yes, I bought my my cooking supplies and then, you know, but I still earned money for the thing anyway. So anyway, whatever. People <laughs> just need to be patient. You can't wait the, what, the extra five seconds for running to the bank by using the dueling ring. Or look, the Priv floats on his right, like, near, like, what, three banks in that little grand exchange they have? Do that. It, it, it just it makes me laugh how obsessed people are. People using summoning familiars for like training junk. Yeah, that helps out a lot, but like it's already fine. Especially in Prif. Like, I, I'm laughing when I see people with like <laughs> mining titans. Well, not really called mining titans, but they use them for mining. Smithing stuff. People use things for divination. Like, how impatient are you guys? <laughs> do what you do. Have fun on Double XP Weekend. Don't stress out. The game will still be here when you wake up. Get your sleep. Don't oversleep. You know? And have fun. That That's the main thing in the game. Don't be, like, so obsessed. You gotta get every second out of it. Don't worry. You'll do just fine. I believe in you guys. And, once again, have a great time. So, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, so once again, thanks for watching. Have fun, guys. I'll see you soon. And enjoy that double XP. Alright. Peace out.